Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today, and this is going to be the start of the Unity 5 optimization series, or how to go about optimizing mainly, let's say, a 3D game in Unity 5. Now, I think this is really important because a lot of people often look past optimization in games, and a lot of people and people who play games don't realize that you have to put a lot of effort in to optimize it, and you want to optimize from the very beginning of your game. So for every asset that you bring in, every asset you create, you need optimization in mind. So I will just give you a brief introduction of what we can do in this series. And we're going to look at the just the basics of tracking how things are optimized currently within a particular scene. We're going to look at um, modeling and good modeling techniques, textures, um, sizes, importing those into Unity, using the standard shader, light mapping, uh, level of detail, maybe some occlusion culling, a lot of different things to help you optimize your game that you might not have known. If you're more of an advanced user, this might be not be for you, but for the people who maybe struggle to get certain FPS and need some ideas on how to do it, I'll be having a series to help you do that. So first of all, what I've got is if we start off on this scene, it's quite basic. All it has is a few objects in the scene. Now, when you bring anything in, um, it will have however many triangles, however many materials that it's made of with what textures it brought in. If you've got lighting, whether it's real time or baked, or you've made light maps out of it, and any other interesting features that we'll go over in the future. But the big thing to look at is if we go over to the game tab and you enable stats at the top, and everybody in Unity 5 will have access to this, I'm sure. Um, this is slightly changed from Unity 4, but obviously Unity 4, I think I had this in Unity Pro, I don't know if it was in free. But anyway, we'll have a look at it now just at a glance. The top of the audio is not as big an issue for this, for the moment. And that just shows the sort of audio settings. I want to concentrate on the graphics sort of things. Because you'll see things move when I play the game, when we test it in a moment. Now, one thing you've got to look at is set pass calls and um, batches because they're the sort of things how it's changed from Unity 4 and they're the things that we used to class as draw calls and draw calls are the thing that are taxing the CPU or when I run around you'll notice that my batches and my set passes sort of match as being the same sort of thing so realistically I've only got 12 draw calls in my current scene which isn't very high at all you can go into you know hundreds of thousands depending on what hardware you're aiming for and you've got to remember that draw calls are brought in for every object that's passed to the CPU to actually do any calculations with. And then we have tries and vertexes. So triangle counts is how many triangles your model is made up of. And if we click on a particular asset, you can see that if you can see the wireframe, you can see just about where the triangles would be. But the bigger thing for Unity is vertices, because vertices are counted with every point that's made up on your mesh and the UV map vertices. So if you've got a UV map on all your objects, it's going to often double up the vertex count, even if the triangle count looks you know, low. One thing we'll do when we do the optimization is you'll save some um, actual um, performance by batching. Dynamic batching is when unity if say all these objects in my scene here they all share the same material which is called img and what that means it's dynamically batched so it means that it groups all these objects together and puts them into one draw call so instead of there being you know however many assets there is in here seven let's say um, it will change it so that is grouped into one draw call because it's grouped by the material that it uses and i'll show you this in the profile in a minute but we can also do what's called static batching and I think that is also a feature in the free version or the pro version for Unity 5 and if we take that it will make sure that it's statically batched so instead of it using dynamic batching where it'll do it automatically without you even having to do anything it will group all these in a similar way and if they share um, the static tag and the same same object with the same material they will be grouped together into one single draw call and you need static to be ticked to do light mapping now obviously we'll go through that in the f in the future again 
and that'll be that'll say where it's saved by batching and you'll see if I play my game that I've got 12 or 23 depending where I look saved by batching so it's batched it together without any hassle on my behalf really and then we um, can see how many shadow casters there is so if we baked out the lighting pretend this is me baked out the lighting into a texture map we wouldn't get any shadow casters so we don't get an extra taxation on the draw calls because for every shadow cast you've got the more draw calls are going to be called because you're almost rendering things again because you're having to calculate shadows and then we've got the screen which shows the resolution that I'm playing it on which is only this tiny little windowed box and shows how much memory it's taking up so it's only taking nine megabytes of memory and then we can have however many skinned meshes or animations we have in our scene and it'll show your FPS count so just the things to look out for is to reduce the set draw calls and the batches as much as you can save as much by batching keep tri triangle count vertex count as low as possible just keep everything as low as possible and you want to try and hit whatever resolution and platform you're looking for now I know I said I'd go over the profiler and the profiler is something that is pretty helpful to distinguishing different problems that you might have because if you go to window and profile it will bring it up I will undock it from this so you can see it maybe a little bit easier and this just profiles as long as you've got record on and you play your game you can see that it's running and you can see that it's recording what's going on in the background and if I unplay it we can sort of scrub across and we can decide oh that looks like it's a big peak in the performance look we can go to the rendering and this is the thing that we're most concerned about is that at this point in time we had um, set passes as 12, draw calls as 20 at the time uh, dynamically batching wasn't on because everything was set to static and with static um, batch 13 items so and it will show us how many um, triangles and vertices and what we've managed to save when we've batched it together and how many textures we've used, 2 megabyte, and little things like that. So it can almost iron out a lot of different things that you see. You can go to memory, see where the memory's been used, see where the CPU might be taxed. And you've got to also remember that anything that includes physics, or stuff that's got to do physics calculations, i.e. a rigid body, and things like that will tax it more along with everything like particles image effects anything that does more to the camera or could uh, essentially make more draw calls so we've got to remember draw calls are what would necessarily see um, the put strain on the CPU and then the triangles and vertices are what strain your graphics card so this was just a brief overview of how you might want to look at the different stats in the game so always keep draw calls as low as possible keep tri count and vertex count as low as possible uh, to the best of your ability and for this series I'll be going deeper into all the different areas that you can possibly optimize your game so sorry if this was a bit of a long video but hopefully this sort of helps you just distinguish some issues that you might find in the future. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.